Welcome guys back to another video in the channel So today we are doing the match preview of the big game on the Monday night The last game of the match day and it is Liverpool versus Arsenal Arsenal are up at Anfield for this game and it's going to be a very difficult game But maybe Arsenal could come into the, this game as favourites You know, last two games against Liverpool we all know what has happened In the first game was back in June, July when we uh, beat them 2-1 After two mistakes from Alisson and Virgil van Dijk And then we played them in the Community Shield where we dominated most of that game and uh, we drew 1-1 and then we went on to win the game in penalties after Ryan Booster missed a penalty in the uh, shootout. In terms of how we need to approach this game, I think we'll have to go with a similar tactic we have done for the last two games against Liverpool, whereby we just sit at the back, um, ping it over to Oba, and then we go through and go. That's basically what our tactic has been in the last two games, and I think it's something Mikel Arteta will follow. But obviously, Jurgen Klopp isn't a stupid manager. He'll know that he'll have to stop here, Emre Aubameyang. Obviously, they, they both know each other very, very well from Borussia Dortmund. So surprisingly, uh, Jurgen Klopp hasn't been able to stop Oba as well in the last two games. But you know he'll be wary of his threat because you know. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang is such a big threat to Liverpool's team as he has been over the last two games. Obviously, the brilliant goal he scored in the Community Shield. So, it'll be very interesting to see what happens in that respect. I think Liverpool's defence looks quite weak at the moment. They conceded three goals against Leeds. Again, it's a promoted Leeds side, so you know you can't be conceding three goals. And uh, the game against uh, Chelsea, you know, they won't. Awfully good defensively. Virgil van Dijk hasn't been so good in the last two games. I'm a Liverpool fan really swearing at me at the moment. Uh, but yeah, I think, you know, Liverpool's defence, even though it has had a few lapses over the last few months, I think, you know, it's still a world-class back line, especially with the likes of Trent, uh, who won the Young Player Award, and uh, Andrew Robertson on the left-hand side. And they have a world-class centre-back in Virgil van Dijk, obviously. So, you know, obviously they have to be feared. And I think Arsenal's front line will have to work very well. We'll have to be playing out from the back as well as we have them for the last few months to ensure that we don't have any lapses and we do you know do as well as we can in this game and defensively I think David Luiz did uh, we'll get into the predicted line in a, in a bit but David Luiz was so good uh you know, he has been so good over the last few months, especially in these big games, especially against Liverpool, FA Cup game, Man City and Chelsea, semi-final and final. So I think him getting the 90 minutes against Leicester City will do him very well. And I think he will come into this game. But we'll talk about that in a bit. Uh, moving on to the team news. Um, I do believe Mustafi is probably going to be out. Pablo Murray is going to be out. Callum Chambers is going to be out. Martinelli is going to be out. We do have quite a few injuries. I'm pretty sure Socrates has got a little knock as well. Other than that, I can't really think of anything on top of my head that will really cause too many issues looking at other aspects of the squad i think lacazette has also been doing quite well over the last few days eddie and ketia doing very well against leicester obviously getting that decisive goal in the last few minutes really killed off the game for them and i do think uh, eddie and ketia will pose a few problems in terms of the starting lineup for lacazette but lacazette is scoring goals so he is going to be keeping most likely his position as uh, our starting striker. and i think i've been very impressed with him with the last few games but i think he's been doing very well to distribute the ball out in terms of our playing out from the back with our back three you know we don't have the Hossim Oa type of player that could uh, lead an attack so Lacazette's doing very well in dropping inside and he is doing that role very very nicely I would like to see Kirantini in the side uh, he obviously he had a little injury and he probably would have recovered from that by now uh, Charles Watts uh, on Twitter and a news correspondent has uh, confirmed that so we'll be having our main man Kirantini on the left hand side very good defensively I will give a lot going forward so I want to get straight into our starting 11 now starting off in goal but Leno I don't really have any other choice do I Martinez has been shipped off to Aston Villa saved the penalty actually uh, against uh, Sheffield United on his debut what a debut for uh, Emmy Martinez in that respect and I think but Leno he looked a bit shaky against Leicester commanding his box I think it's something uh, Leno really needs to improve on I think we only see these mistakes in Leno because Martinez has been so good in those areas and I think uh, Leno will have to keep his place in the side Runison has come in uh, for too many pounds from Dijon and uh, it will take a bit of time for him to adapt so I'm going to go but Leno obviously I'm going to stick with the back three I think if we're going to uh, park the bus against Liverpool I think we'll have to go with the back three and starting off in the middle of that three I'm going to go with David Luiz again as I said before David Luiz aerial threat will be very good because if Liverpool are always having to ping uh, crosses into the box because uh, we will have such a congested middle I think someone like David Luiz who's very strong in the end very strong physically we're able to hold off uh, any crosses uh, dangerous crosses coming in and I think that is very vital for us next to him on that left um, of that three I'm going to go with Gabriel Gabriel have been very impressed with him over the last two, uh, two games in the Premier League 
he got a very uh, well earned rest against uh, uh, against Leicester City, and I think that is very good for him. I think he'll be recharged, uh, recharging his batteries, and he'll be coming back for this game against Liverpool. Hopefully, again, very uh, similar in terms of David Luiz. If we are going to be holding that box, you know, we have to have physically good players, uh, air, airily brilliant players in that um, in that box. So I think Gabriel will bring that, and I'm very excited to see him against a top cl uh, top class Liverpool side. Obviously, Premier League champions. Very interesting to see how Gabriel will be able to cope and on the right on the three i'm gonna go with rob holding uh, rob holding is the player who played in the last two liverpool wins so a bit of a pattern forming there and i think he's pocketed mane in the last two games we played against liverpool uh yes he, st he started a bit tricky against mane in those two games but i think you know he when as the game grew he really pocketed mane and he really stopped his threat whatsoever and liverpool were having to go down the other side where we were a bit weaker bukai saka you know obviously he's not a natural left wing back so i think in that respect i would go with rob holding just because he has the experience in this game uh, i don't know what you guys think i don't want to put kieran Tien in that back line i think you're doing a better in another position which i'll go into in a second but i'm going to go with rob holding as my back three alongside david louise and gabriel now i'll be moving on to the wing backs first of all right wing back i'm going to go with hector bell in AZ Maitland now has played the game against Leicester so I don't think he'll be playing this game even though obviously there's still five uh, days to between the games uh, I wasn't really impressed with AZ Maitland now in that game also you know he was very poor he didn't really create much for the team and I think when Hector Bellerin did come on against Leicester he did very well obviously created the goal for Eddie Nketi he was in the build-up for that so he was very influential in that respect and I think he has to continue his Premier League run Hector Bellerin he is on a good run of form so you may as well continue playing him so I'm going to go with Bellerin on the left wing back I'm going to get obviously Kieran Tierney. I don't want to see Sead Klasenac anywhere, ne anywhere near his side. I think Sead Klasenac was half poor, even though people were saying he was quite good. The only reason I'll disagree with that was because, you know, Leicester City weren't putting any pressure on. They were playing their pro uh, crappy team, probably. So, you know, Sead Klasenac didn't have much to do in that respect. And I think what he did was very average, which is why I'm not, I didn't give him a five. I gave him a four in that respect. And I think um, Kieran Tierney has to be playing. He's so defensively good. And I think if we want to stand a chance against the likes of Mo Salah, I think Kieran Tierney it will be very very good to be able to do that and i think that is one of the main reasons i'm going to put kieran Tini there and obviously it's always nice to see him his crosses are very good and hopefully he can be able to put them in uh, going into the midfield now, I'm going to go with uh, Granit Xhaka and Danny Tabas. We really don't have a, a, any other choice, do we? Uh, we played Joe Willock and El Nenny in the Leicester City game. And again, they played very average, weren't really good. And we really need Thomas Partey and Hassan at the time of recording. No bids gone in. We haven't really made any effort, real effort to try and sign those players. And I think we'll be having to do that very soon if we do want those players. And hopefully, um, Granit Xhaka and Danny Tabas can be enough for this game. But they got exposed against West Ham, which showed they're not good enough. We need more than that and hopefully we can sign those players they're so desperate for us to sign and uh, hopefully man we can just get this one done and uh granite shaka danny sabas is really not the uh, midfield i want to go with going forward you know they're good in some games they m they may even be good in this game because obviously we're going to be playing so compact at the back you know there won't be much space between the back line and the midfield so i think that uh, shaka and sabas will fit into that system very well but i think it's games where west ham where they're going to get exposed so much so i'm going to go with sabas and Granite Xhaka and I'm going to go into the front three now and it's basically going to be the front three we've started in the last two Premier League games only because that has worked and we've scored goals in the system so moving on uh, to the right wing I'm going to go with the Willian Pepe did play in the Leicester City game he looked very poor you know in the last few minutes of the game he really started to come to life and be really good but I think Willian is playing quite well he's making a lot of effort to come back and I think that would be much needed when well, we are playing out from the back in the game against Liverpool and I think that would be very necessary in that respect i think that what Mikel Arteta looks for in a player you know he looks for a lot of effort and that is one of the reasons Meza Ozil hasn't been playing as well moving on to the left wing obviously the main man Pierre Emerick Obamia and the guy just doesn't stop scoring goals he only got he didn't score against West Ham but he did get an assist and he wasn't in the squad at all all for the game against West Ham so I do think you know he's sorry not West Ham the game against Leicester City which just shows you know he is being rested he's not being risked in that game which again fair enough because you know we shouldn't be risking our best player in such petty games even though we did get it over the line Carabao Cup no one really cares you know we are playing Liverpool in the next round as well which is going to be I'm pretty sure um, a few days after this one so we will be fun to it, playing Liverpool again down at Anfield obviously and uh, we have to go about Miang you know if we're playing out from the back and counter attacking then i think he'll be very good you know uh to play uh, you know go off uh the likes of trent alexander arnold on that uh left hand side and i think it'll be very very good for us and in the middle i was talking about him earlier alexandra lacazette 
again Lacazette is a player I talked about his influence on the pitch he's very good in that respect dro dropping back in the formation we have him playing and I think he'll be very good in that respect you know Aubameyang can be playing to the side of him where Lacazette drops and plays the ball across or Biza Bait where um, the midfield Granit Xhaka or Sabahs play the ball through to Aubameyang uh, or however he wants to be so yeah we have to be playing with Alexandre Lacazette in that midfield uh, sorry not in that midfield but in the uh, centre forward role and uh, yeah Eddie Aketia will be someone to come off the bench if we need him so that is it for my predicted lineup for Arsenal versus Liverpool. What do you guys think this game will prevail? You know, will Arsenal, you know, do this, uh, do another one over uh, Liverpool? I think this is a very statement game for us because you know, been shaky in the West Ham game, or very good in the Fulham game. But again, it's Fulham. You can't judge with that one. West Ham again. Uh, yes, I think I can judge on that West Ham game because you know we're not doing well against those teams that will cause us some problems. And again, these games against Liverpool will be the main ones that will re really show where we are as a club in terms of you know if we're gonna you know if we go on Anfield and get smashed four five one that will show nothing has changed. But if we go there. If we played really well, even if we lose 2 1, I won't be too mad because you know things have changed. We're not going to Anfield and getting battered and getting our asses ass kicked. You know, I want to have to uh, see a good performance. A performance I, I saw in the Community Shield, a performance I saw at the Emirates. Yes, we relied on mistakes, but I want to see a similar performance. Uh, leave your thoughts and predictions in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Come on, you gooners.